Hey, we're going to learn the fate of gender affirming care in the state of Missouri. A St. Louis County judge will decide whether or not to grant a temporary restraining order on an emergency rule restricting care for patients of all ages. Our city Stalworth is live with what we can expect today. Well, Michelle, that temporary restraining order you just mentioned, the decision is going to come from a St. Louis County judge and will have that decision sometime today. If it's granted, it would block Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's emergency order restricting transgender care in the state. Last week, both the AG's office and the groups filing a lawsuit against his emergency order spoke out in court, each issued statements after the judge issued a temporary stay so she could have some more time to look over the arguments from both sides. Now, under the attorney general's proposed emergency rule, new trans patients would have to undergo 18 months of mental health counseling before they could start transgender medical treatments of any kind. Now, just so you know, the AG's main argument is that gender affirming care is, quote, experimental. In a 60 page response to attempts for a restraining order, the attorney general said in part, quote, when it comes to gender transition interventions like puberty blockers and cross sex hormones, the evidence is lacking, adding the plaintiffs are not acknowledging the, quote, mouth of authority against them because it would shatter the entirely inaccurate theme they're trying to construct. Also this morning, the plaintiffs in this case, the ACLU and lawyers for local health care providers and their transgender patients say in part, quote, gender affirming care is supported by overwhelming scientific data and decades of clinical experience. Now these plaintiffs also add to allow one politician to control and limit health care that's been around for decades puts all Missourians who receive any type of medical treatment in jeopardy should that treatment become a political issue. Clearly a lot to follow with this. A spokesperson for the St. Louis County Judicial Court reached out to us and told us that we should hear of a decision by the end of the day today from the judge in St. Louis County. I'll send it back to you guys.